Today, I've got a real easy AI project for you, and that is using ChatGTP to create custom workflows, something simple as what you have in front of you on the screen now, or even more complex. I got this idea from AI in five minutes online, and I kind of built on it a little bit more because I wanted to add images and a couple of other things. You are gonna need to create an account for a website called overleaf.com. This is going to be a free account. The reason why is because Overleaf edits what what is called latex it's a type of coding that creates these outputs let's start in chat gtp and i'm just going to basically get the basic script going that is hey i want a visually compelling flow chart and here are the steps in my flow chart and it has to be in latex code so it's given me this output here I don't have to understand it. I just need to copy it. I'm gonna go into my overflow account or my overleaf account, excuse me, and simply put the text in here, right here on the left. And then over here, you see this green box with the recycling circles? That is going to give you the output. Now, you could use this output if you're happy with it, or if you want to expand on it, let's go ahead and expand on it. Um, and, you know, maybe we want to put like a green square or something. Ah, let's keep it simple. Mine was pretty simple here. Let me show you how I added images to it. So the next step is I would like to add images. I would like to add the following images and i'm going to i always use a i like to use hyphens this is a good way of coding within chat gtp this is kind of like a bullet point in a way that chat gtp understands that it's a bullet point and i know one of them i have is claude if i can spell correctly dot png png the other one which ones do I have? Let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, I've got Airtable, Claude, and I have ChatGTP. So let's go back. Airtable.png, and I have Chat gpt.png quick interruption ryan here if you're one of those people struggling with ai and trying to figure out how to make it work for you without pulling out your hair i have put together a group where we're going to get together every two weeks online for an hour talk about pain points solutions and figure it out together so instead of watching another video trying to figure out how to do something and not being able to figure it out just get together let's talk about it let's find those solutions best thing cost only 20 bucks a month for the first 10 people of course there's more information down below you can see i've already uploaded these but right here there is an upload you need to upload the files that you want to use now i'm using really small files these are the ones that i've uploaded i've uploaded actually this doesn't work oh i forgot i got http also uh this claude web did not work so i had to upload a png file so that would be the one thing I'd recommend is just use PNG files, Claude Airtable, chat, and I also uploaded HTTP.png. So I'd like to add the following images to the flowchart where the name is listed. Is name is in the is where the name is in the text see if it understands that so it's going to go ahead now and include the images into the flow chart and what's really key about this is because i've had i've already uploaded these images to this specific folder in uh, overleaf is that the names need to be identical if they're not identical it's not going to be able to reference each one of those so let's see if we did it correctly. I'm gonna copy the code, we'll throw it in here, gonna hit delete, and we're just gonna hit the recompile button again. And there you go. You know what's amazing? ChatGTP, sometimes I love you and I hate you. I spent probably a good 10 minutes trying to get it to do it on this file and it would not do it. I didn't even ask it to do two lines separate. Ah. 
Why? Why? Um, so we do have a problem though, chat GTP. Did I not use chat GTP? Here's the problem. I did not upload a text or a uh, file for chat GTP. I don't want to upload a folder. Let's select a file. And this was in Fireshot. This is chat GTP. Boom. Let's recompile. All right. There we go. And all right, so I've got a, I've got to change. I've got the wrong image. I, this is obviously not a logo, um, but you get the gist of what I'm doing here. So not only do we have visuals, we have here. We've got the text with the steps. We've got the links. Um, the one downside to this that I can see so far is that when you go to download, here it is. This little button right here to the right of uh, Rick rec compile is you can only download the pdf but once you get it out once you get a pdf then you can go ahead and use illustrator or gimp to actually edit the file in any way that you want but this is like a super easy way to add additional content to uh, maybe blog posts to any type of documentation that you're doing you're not going to be able to get real fancy stuff using this type of visual editor simply because this um this programming language, what was it, LaTeX, comes out of the scientific community. They, the scientific people that are doing studies wanted to have an easy way to create flowcharts. So they're designed to be usable, visible, but they're not designed to be gorgeous marketing pieces. So those would be the only two downsides to it, but let me know what you think about it and how you might use this in your marketing or just in business in general.